What's going on, y'all? It's your man, C. McCarver Jr. Here with that 49ers 2019 mock draft. My mock draft. Now, before we get started, um, as y'all know, this is some quick business real quick. 49ers franchise tag, Robbie Gold. Um, you know, it, it was a great move on their part to, you know, get something going because we didn't want to get rid of Robbie Gold. I mean, he was a good kicker. You know, we need a kicker, man. We got to have a good kicker. We can't just improve everywhere else and get rid of the kicker, man. Kicker play a big part, man. Y'all already know what Robbie did for us, man, but... Uh, you know, um, I'm thinking maybe they did that to work out a deal with him. I don't think they'll keep the whole franchise tag all year and, you know, but we shall see. But I'm happy that they did that. Don't have to really hear about, oh, kicker we had went somewhere else. He went back to Chicago while our kicker is struggling. I didn't want to have to go through, you know, stuff like that. I mean, it really would suck. It really would suck that we, you know, we going neck and neck with a team. Finally got it. Finally got the team together to actually compete, but we're going neck and neck with, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, so we're going neck and neck with New Orleans next year, you know, and it comes down to a kick, and we ain't got the kicker, but we get, you see what I'm saying, so Robbie Go, glad we got him, cool, next thing, y'all know, man, people getting ready for the combine, people flying in right now, it's getting close, man. It's getting close, man. This this is where NFL offseason really starts getting exciting. And then you got the free agency and then you got the draft. But yeah, it's finally happening. It's finally happening. So people are talking about how Kyle Shanahan and well, John Lynch can probably talk to the people from the Steelers, you know. And, you know, Davey. It's just all exciting. You know, it's nothing that I want in particular, but, you know, things happen. You know, these prospects come out here and start breaking records, man. They add more to their whole portfolio, or some lose some, too. But it's all exciting, man. We finna get into it. So, let me get started on my mock draft, okay? The number one pick, well, our number one pick, of course, we got number two, as y'all know, but our first round pick has to be Nick Bosa, all the way Nick Bosa, I'm a Nick Bosa fan, okay, I am a Nick Bosa fan, Niner fans, y'all already know, I've said this over and over, we got to get to that quarterback, we got to get to him, Nick Bosa comes from a 4-3, okay, if he comes over to this team, we can just throw him right on in, man, you just go on and do what you do, you know what I'm saying, anything you need to fix, we got Chris Kasurik, but y'all already know. Niner fans, y'all already know. But those who are not Niner fans, you know, we need a pass rush. And a good edge rusher would be perfect on that offensive, I mean, defensive line, my bad. You know, with the DeForest Buckners, and we'll see what Solomon Thomas does, and see the DJ Joneses and stuff. Now, we're going to see, you know, what's going to happen with the Nick Bosa. I mean, I know what's going to happen. We're going to start intimidating the quarterback. Now, that being said, if somehow Cardinals either go for Nick Bosa, which I don't think they will, or they end up trading with somebody who wants Nick. Now, I don't mind, honorable mention, I don't mind getting a Josh Allen. I don't. Josh Allen, to me, is a beast. I mean, Nick Bosa is a beast. Josh Allen is a beast, too. Um, I know if we get that man over on our team, we still gonna be rushing the quarterback. May not be every down like Nick Bosa, but I'm sure we gonna get the job done with Josh Allen. So I am comfortable if something just happens to Nick Bosa, somebody gets him before we do because they traded, you know, then we can get the Josh Allen. So, for round two, you know, and keep in mind, this is before free agency. You know, this is most definitely before free agency. So, depending on what we do in free agency, of course, you know, I might have more picks. But as far as right now, though, as far as what I want, what I want to capitalize on, man, let's get another edge rusher, man. 
Jalen Ferguson, man, from Louisiana Tech. Bulldogs, man. Check this man out, man. I think just depth, depth for people getting to that quarterback is perfect, man. Let's build that. Let's build it up. Let's build that pressure, man. People need to know the Niners are coming, man. Not just on offense, but on defense, man. That defense got to be intimidating, man. And, you know, it, it, I think it's just coming from not, <laughs> not having no, no, you know, intimidating rushers at all. And I just want to get as many as we can. But this whole mock draft ain't just going to be edge. And, and like I said, this is based on not going through free agency yet. So that will play a big part. But Jalen Ferguson, man, I'm not going to sit up here and throw clips on because I did that last year. And, you know, they got the stupid copyright strikes and all that. But y'all look him up, man, if y'all ain't never looked this guy up, man. And, you know, get your own idea about him. But that's who I would get at number two. You know, of course, there are some honorable mentions there. Reedy Williams. But I think somebody going to snatch him up in the first round. I just, I just think. I don't think he's going to make it that far. And Greedy Williams is the cornerback. The cornerback that, you know, I'm highly on, you know. Check him out. He looks pretty decent, but I don't think he's going to be available for us. Other guy is Nazar Adderley. This guy right here. Man, people, I heard people talking about him. Uh, comparing him to Earl Thomas and all that, which he is not. But he looks... He looks explosive, man. Check the highlights out, man. I wouldn't mind picking this guy up either, man. Add some depth right there to save the position. Okay, so round three. Keep this thing going, man. Caden Smith. Caden Smith from Stanford. Tight end. Man, this dude catches with his hands. This man all over the field. This man gets separation, man. He reminds me of a, of a George Kittle type. You know, I think it'd be perfect, man, to compliment George Kittle, man. George Kittle, you want to take a breath? Throw this cat in. Same type of gameplay to me, man. He'd fit perfect in our offense, man. Go check him out, man. This guy, this guy is nice. My opinion, all right? My opinion. So round number four. Round four. Like I like to say, don't say four, say four. <laughs> so round four though, we got TJ Edwards, man, linebacker from Wisconsin. Now, this guy right here, man, is all over the field. Seems like his hands is always on the ball and he moves around. He's explosive. You know, I mean, hey, we got the Fred Warners and Elijah Lee's looking cool. This guy looking, he look like he can come in and, and just do what he do, man. So I'm, I'm kind of high on this guy, too, as a linebacker, man. Go and check him out. That's another guy to compliment our defense, you know. I've seen some I see some plays where they, he didn't rush the quarterback and got right in, man. He got a good eye, too, man. Check him out, man. T.J. Edwards from West Coast. He'll probably have some cheese and mildew on him, but that's all right. We'll wash them off. You know how it is. All right, so round five. We don't have a round five, but we got two round sixes. We got two. So with that first one, that first one, let's grab a wide receiver, man. Terry Godwin from Georgia. This cat right here, he just look like he can get right in Kyle Shanahan's offense. Now, we do have a whole bunch of, we got a whole bunch of wide receivers on our team. And um, what was a little bit scary last year, you know, we had some injuries, you know. But... I like this guy, man. I mean, I, I think, see, with this pick right here, it's just because I'm so confident in who he has so far. But it's almost like if we can have a 54-man roster, let's get this guy over. So, you know, I don't think it'll hurt to get him over here. he probably throw some competition in there, too. That's That would be the, the main reason to bring him over is competition right there so I mean I, I like the cat man I, I really do you have to check him out yourself and ask yourself when he fit perfect right in Kyle Shanahan's offense so yeah okay so with the last pick in round six round six 
And I keep asking myself, man, we should have, I should have picked two of these guys maybe instead of, but it's all good. It's all good. Offensive tackle named David Edwards from Wisconsin. Once again, he got the cheese on him, you know, because it's Wisconsin. We'll wipe that right off. But David Edwards, man, looked like he fit right into our offense, man. Guy moves fast, man. Offensive tackle. And it's this is mainly because, you know, Joe Staley has said his last year, but, you know, he said that some time ago. Who knows, you know, but they said, you know, he'll leave Mike McGlinchey and move over to his side. But we got to, we got I think we should address it now so we can get guys ready if Joe Staley takes off next year. You know, so David Edwards, man, check out his highlights, man. This guy's tall, he move quick, fit right in the offense, in my opinion. So, these were my mock draft picks. Um, these are people who I I would go ahead and pick, you know. Of course, I'm gonna give myself a grade A plus. Y'all already know y'all can. I'm not asking for nobody's grades, man. I'm just, you know, just digging myself up. You know what I mean? These are guys that I wouldn't mind getting. But of course, we know, just like we a lot of us did last year. We had, you know, in our heads who we was gonna get. Had no idea of a Mike McGlinchey. You know, maybe a few here and there red and gold fans knew, but for the most part, we didn't know he was going to get Mike McGlinchey, but it worked out. So, 49ers always have their own plans going. We can sit here all day long and just, you know, predict what they're going to do. And I'm not saying this is what the Niners are going to do. I'm just saying this is, this is who I would get. This is who I would get, you know. So, it's your man, C. McCarver Jr. Thanks for tuning in to my mock draft like i said man be some more videos coming especially about the combine being in place and things of that nature oh yeah real quick real quick before i head out of here um forgot to mention i heard today um kind of kind of had me annoyed man because when richard sherman got to this team man I, I had to i had to get it took me some time to get over it but i said hey what the heck man he, uh, of anything he gonna come help you know um i was really when he first got here i was really looking forward to the matchup between him and michael crabtree when he was on the raiders then of course we know he left then he went to baltimore and i was like you know what that's cool we play baltimore next year now this they released Michael Crabtree today, and it looks like I don't get to see that matchup. So I'm hoping somebody pick him up if somebody we playing. So <laughs> not important thought. I just mentioned that, man. It kind of bothered me because I just really wanted to see that again, you know, uh, and, and be on the other side of it. Because when it was when it, when we already know that nightmare as Niner fans, you know, and of course it wouldn't it wouldn't make up for it, but I just it's just something I was looking forward to seeing. You know, so anyway, it's your man C. McCarver Jr. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch y'all in traffic, man. Peace.